Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bucket Think Tank for our first proper vlog. Proper is a strong word because, well, yeah, don't look too proper in here, but bear with us, bear with us. This is very limited means here, and outside of that glare, this Funko Pop wall is actually really good, although I gotta, gotta get something a bit better for that. But anyway, I wanted to let you all know that we plan to be doing vlogs. We've actually made some really interesting changes. Not a really, actually, interesting is a strong word. It's a strong word, that's called what it is. I got uh, new social media profiles for this. We've got the Bucket Think Tank on Twitter, Instagram, and we have a Facebook page coming up soon. And I just sort of wanted to use this as a chance to sort of say we're, we're branching out to vlogging pretty much for the most part. Um, we may be doing a couple of other reviews like this. I might do my Disney royalty review like this because I think we know who I'm talking about for the most part with Disney princesses and Disney princes. And we may be doing movie reviews like this. I think I actually think this is a great um, format for reviewing videos and movies. Um, comics, probably, maybe. We'll see how we go about that. But there's also a lot of topics I want to talk about. I want to do a I Like But series. So what that means, I'm going to take a franchise or a, or a book and say I like, let's say I like Harry Potter, but... And then we go into discussing that. That's something that will come up soon. And then we'll be talking about um, Doctor Who at some point. If you recall, we did do a Doctor Who retrospective series. That didn't quite work how I wanted to, so I shelled that for a bit. And I'm actually going to re relaunch that series, starting with William Hartnell, the first Doctor. And I've brought in someone who, to help me along with that. Someone who I think may be able to add a bit more Doctor Who knowledge than I have. And hopefully you'll enjoy that. Let me know if there's something you'd like me to talk about. Um, leave that down in the comment section. I want to talk about DC animated movies at some point and the connections they may or may not have to the original comics. I want to talk about anime at some point on this channel too because I do like anime. I do. Most people like anime, actually. If you don't like anime, you probably haven't seen anime. Uh, debatable, of course. Debatable, of course. Um, I want to talk about... Actually, I want to talk about what fun is on this channel. Like This video here is we're going to talk about what fun is. What is fun? It's a word I throw out a lot on my YouTube channel, something I've noticed recently. To me, fun is, I want you to visualize a really good day. A really good day. Okay, I'm a, you, you go outside. If you don't go outside, bear with me. Bear with me. I barely go outside either. Bear with me on this. You go outside, it's really good weather. Really good weather, all right? It's the right amount of warm. There's a nice breeze coming with it. Not a powerful breeze, but it's like a gentle little breeze little breeze nothing's agitating your sinuses you know uh, there's there's snacks in the other room you know there's drinks it's good that's what fun is to me and when i think of fun that's i see that sort of fun in a really good comic book i see that fun in a, a batman war games i see that fun in seven samurai i see that fun in avatar last airman i see it in rory kenjin i see it in a lot of things that i genuinely like that have shaped who i am good or bad but there are also things that aren't fun and we should talk about those things as much as we talk about the things that are fun because if we only examine what we like we don't really quite understand what we don't like really in my opinion and there are certain books certain movies that i've seen that i don't like and there are certain books and movies and whatnot that i've seen that are worse than bad they're forgettable. They're books you actually regret reading, experiences you regret having. I think are very different than bad things. A, a book you regret reading is worse than a book you think is bad. Same with movies, same with people, actually. I want to talk about those things. I want to talk about Avatar Last Airbender. I want to talk about why it's a bit better than Korra. I want to talk why Korra is possibly sometimes, can't really figure out why, but could be better than Avatar Last Airbender. Not like it could have been, like if we did this, it'd be better. But why there are certain things that maybe Legend of Korra does better than Avatar Last Airbender, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about Harry Potter. I want to talk about Star Wars. I want to talk about the death of the Disney villain. I want to talk about that. And I'd like you all to be here for me on this adventure. Because if you haven't noticed, I am a nerd. I'm a nerd on YouTube. And if there's one thing nerds on YouTube like to do is talk about things they know a lot about or don't know a lot about, like to be corrected about in the comment section. Don't be afraid to do that now. What the Bucket Think Tank was, was a blog. It was one guy's rant about Disney princesses in response to the claims of sexism. 
and it claims that these characters only exist to perpetuate the male gaze and negative female stereotypes. And that guy, guess me, said, no, I think there's something more interesting there. And I talked about it. I wrote about it. And I came up here and I made a video about it. And I want to keep doing stuff like that. I want to talk about the concept of the hero and the superhero. What makes a good villain? You know, um, the, is Batman cursed? Is there a problem with Wonder Woman as a character, as a book? I want to talk about those things. What is the problem with Superman? You know, what is my issue with Marvel? I want to talk about those things. Has the race change of Ariel been that bad an idea? Is the glare on my glasses that bad? Who knows? I like this stage right here. We're going to keep it like that. We're going to pause right here. Actually, no, we're going to stop right here because I think we've said all we need to say. So thank you for watching this. Uh, the phrase that I uttered at the end of each video I do, which is, may your fandom serve you well. It's an important line because I hope that the things you like, the things you enjoy, stay with you. I hope, I hope it remains true to what you think it should be. And I hope you're able to make your fandom into something that it should be something you enjoy. But anyway, as we said before, this is the Bucket Think Tank signing off. Thanks for watching. And as always, may your fandom serve you well.